Tashidile to you all. So today we are going to be studying a new topic that is called a new strand in the fabric Islamic traditions. So before studying this topic, let's revise a few things from the previous part, what we have learned. So in the previous part, we have learned about the how within the Hindu religions there has been changes. There has been transformations into the Hindu religions. So uh, there are the many new religions that started to grow up, many local religions and as well as Tantric. Right? And among from that, one of the most popular religions that was emerged during that period was a Bhakti movement. Right? And uh, we have learned about the how within the Bhakti movements uh, there has been uh, two different subcategories. And we have also learned about that who have initiated, uh, started this Bhakti movement. So, Today we are going to be uh, studying uh, how within the Islamic religions there has been transformations or there has been changes into the Islamic movement. So before we are going to be studying the uh, changes into the Islamic religions, we are going to be learning that the, how Islamic religions has been spread into the India. So in the entire world, when there was a started uh, development in the economy, people started to trade with the one country to the another countries. So this is how the later on many of the Arab merchant, uh, the merchant from the Arab countries, they started to come to the India during the first millennium centuries, right? and they started to settle into the in India, which is in the northern part, northern western part of the subcontinent. Right? From there, now the Islamic religion has been gradually spread into the India. So this is how the Islamic religions has been later on uh, spread throughout the India and it has been stay for the long long period. Which Islamic rulers they have brought the Islamic religions into the India. And the how the Islamic religions has been spread widely into the India. So uh, now the during the 711 Muhammad Kazims he have conquered the Sindh area. So where is the Sindh area? Sindh area is currently uh, located at the Punjab. So the gradually is now the Muslim, uh, the Muhammad Kazims, uh, he have controlled the, all this uh, Sindh land and he started to spread uh, this Muslim religions. And uh, specifically during the 13th centuries, when the Turks, Afghanistan's, they came to the India, they established a Dili Sultanate. And when they established a Dili Sultanate, now their I mean, religions becomes a very officials, and Islamic religions has been spread throughout India. And especially during the Mughal period, the Islamic religions has been widely spread into the many regions of the India. So, so that is a during the 18th century, right? Uh, so this is how the Muslim rulers they came to the India and they control a certain lands and uh, gradually they spread their religions throughout the Indian country. Muslim 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 rulers, they were ruling the Indian country. There are the many of the non-Muslim people who are staying under the Muslim ruler. Uh, there are Christians, there are Jews, there are Hindu. So these are people who are having their own religions. Islamic religion
this is going to be repeat again and again so this becomes a very important ra ani ta dinzu hindu dinzu gene khunazu ke text ya the ya phisa shola ani shine chi khunazu ani chi gabu dinzu gene chi khunazu laga so re ra de dinam dani khunazu ke ta suzu ke che dinam le che top down dinam bu chi te gor ra ani muslim chita ki muslim ki gabu dinzu ke tak par shi chi kare chulu shi ba thum se tang ko dinam chi Uh, sometimes they are very much compassionate towards the other religions also rwa pena cha cha nani tik tan de gabu khashe khona so they care for land and domain rwa ani tik chulu mongbu jila ani tik laga ta de zuke ba chu ne sacha de de a chi rwa de de nyam to ani tik sometimes they also exempted tax also ani the de mogo khana so rwa de de tik ani muslim gabu de se de de lab new year rwa Now the next topic is the popular practice of Islam. So when the Islamic religions they started to growing up into the India, many of the people have adopted this religion, such as uh, peasant, artisans, warrior, merchants, and there are the many people who have adopted this religions. So those who adopted the Islamic religions, they have a uh, five principles to obey. So we are going to be learning that the what are the five principles. or you can say the what are the five pillars of the faith so the first rule is that they said there is only one god call allah and the prophet muhammad is his messenger and the second rule is that they have to offer a prayer for five times a day which was also known as a namaz they have to pray a namaz for five times a day and the third rule is that they have to give alms which means that they have to give a donations to the people and the fourth rule was that they have to fast during the month of the ramzan which means that during the ramzan festivals they have to stay a empty stomach and the last rule was that in their whole life they have to once they have to go to the mecca for a pilgrimage which was also known as a hajj So these are the rules uh, of the Muslim. So for the better understanding, I'll be showing you a small video clip which shows the uh, five principles of the Islam. Islam is based on five key practices known as pillars. The first is the profession of faith called shahada. The phrase there is no true god but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger is at the heart of the religion. It must be understood and repeated aloud by anyone converting. The second pillar is prayer, which should be carried out 5 times daily while facing Mecca at dawn, midday, mid-afternoon, sunset and evening. The third pillar is charity. Every Muslim according to their means is required to give part of their income to help those in need. The fourth pillar is fasting during Ramadan. Muslims over the age of puberty must abstain from food, drink and sexual intercourse from sunrise to sunset during the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. The purpose is spiritual purification, a gesture of compassion to those suffering hunger while simultaneously achieving spiritual growth. The fifth and final pillar is the pilgrimage to Mecca, the holiest site in Islam. Each Muslim is expected to make the journey once in a lifetime provided they're physically and financially able to do so. Known as the Hajj, it takes place during the last month of the Muslim calendar. Ta Muslim midzu ene ji gaga nanglo la yurumbu ji dedu kaple ya qonazu ke chulu ta qonazu ke kumshi ta dinde sangmala ya ji gwa the qorara. Ta bena cha cha nanguma ta de Arab ka ji Muslim de zuwa qonazu ta de na Malabar coast and the kerala ke chola ne ji khonsu ki yurumbu de du kaple ya qonazu ki khumshi ta qonazu ki ke ta de samachi gwa the bera. Bena cha cha ta khonzu ta de Arab ka ji Muslim de ta de je je la ro. Khonazu ke ta Malayalam language ro. Malayalam ke de ne khonazu ke ay go zure ro. Susu ke de te ma je je ro. And the name do ane khonazu ke they have also adopted the matrilineal ta dikhare suna ne ngoma che gina ene pomudi phugi nangla chanza gap side phugi nangla de ayo da ta chi su khare chala na ne chi phu ta pomugi nangla do che ne pomoi nangla de ayo ro ta dinne ro che ne luksu ta din samachi kwa thebre ta de la kore ta gwa che che dukun su kha thong ne na it was saw into the architecture ro ta chi khang ba gap ta da ro langa so ta da dinne ro chi kla ne gwa pe ma se chamba chung ro 
so this is our, all the changes right? when they settled uh, during a long period into India. There has been uh, right? integrations of the uh, cultures, architectures and the many more. Right? So this is the Goji or go the Gun Samaji any Mecca Gichola Tengura or the Mecca Lai the Pem seven nets as she put on the Arab country La Yoruba. Oh, the Gichola and Nikuzu Tunisha or Esla Corre. That depart the Ondre than the Kangba de Nikonazu get in the Kacho de Call Gurel and any Mecca Gichola Gurne Tereva. Tongue the Nizi any Kangba da, Sueda, any chick language da, any Susuki Rixunda, and so much than a Guaji Tabejura. Oh, this sugar. So the next stop is names of the communities. How we could able to recognize that the, this person belongs from the, this community and this person belongs from the, this community is wrong. We often wrong, do that the, uh, if the persons who have adopted the Muslim religions, then of course we uh, call them as a Muslim. Wrong. And uh, if the persons, they adopted the Hindu religions, then of course we recognize uh, the person as Hindu. Wrong. But the historians, when they studied the inscriptions of the 8th and 9th centuries, they found it very different. different they found that the people were identified with the regions where they came from. The Muslim Empire was Europe, and Africa in the red, the Tama Kunsu in no dura did his ops, and get chumpu pemis to be in the goblea, and a corazz of the Garan and Ludigo Blea, and a chick Tama Muslim Lago Marera Penachana Kunsu get under Tajikstan named Midzulevana, and Kunaz of Karla Bolan and Garamizu Tajika Lajero, and a Penachana than the Persian Leguna, and a Kunaz of Karla Bolere, they used to call as a Persicar, and a Kesichik Turks, the Afghanistan and Levana. And they used to call them as a shakar. And a monk should eat another gara midzuk Muslim midzula karela bolana, melecha. What is a melecha? Melecha is a barbarian. Barbarian and a karana chick, they are not developed people. They are a very orthodox people. The didn't love all. The curtain in love all in a raw. Curtain they doesn't observe the norms of the caste systems. Curtain love all in the Muslim caste systems are killing Chihomara. How did you consult a chick and a barbarian relager? Look, John Mego, draw. How did the lap water? And a chick cardin lava did the name the Kurazuki, barbarian cardin lava and the Kurazuki and the Sanskrit raw, Shingomara, Muslim music. How did you call the Chinikrasa barbarian lacher? Oh, did you need a sugar raw? That thing and also get any chick Islam, Koran, get a religion, any country chick cabby me raw. And did the name do Korazu get a chulu dinner and a chick rules and regulation caregare mera and a Korazuki and a chick a Kagan or Yurubu de Che and a chick a Konsuki, Dodanta, Ra, Duluta, the de Chuluta, and a Keta, the Zusama Guatebio, to the Samanazo Janera. The next day, I think I saw any Sufi de Ra and a chick a Islamic religion, a Sufi de Kanechume, Tanganazo de Janera.